To perform this video, we've arranged a BRV car whose weight is 1199 kilograms. We'll be lifting this car with the help of a jack. The jack is placed under the front tire because the front tire has more weight than the back side of the car because the front side of the car has the weight of engine too. After lifting the car with the help of a jack, we will be placing different objects under the tire. Wooden plank with nails. Now we will place a wooden piece with nails slightly inserted in it. We have inserted more than 100 nails very close to each other. Now put wooden plank under the tire and lower the jack slowly. As you can see nails press a little bit and suddenly move in a curved shape. Now we change the direction of the wooden plank for the safety of the tire. The result is clear. Tire crushed the nail in the wooden plank due to the weight on it. Average force exerted by a tire pressing a nail is about 3231.3 Newton. There were around 100 nails in the plank so there is more resistance force by the nails but as the force from the tire is bigger as a result nail bends. Egg. Now we have an egg for test. Let's see what happens. As we know that 25 newtons force is needed to break the egg as compared to the force applied by the car tire is too much for the egg so it breaks. Coconut. This time we are testing a coconut. Place a coconut under the car tire and start to lower down the jack by rotating the jack lever anti-clockwise. As you know coconut is too hard to break by hand. It requires almost 1300 to 2500 newton of force to break normal coconut. When we start to lower down the jack, the coconut broke in seconds. Walnut. Next on our list is walnut. Let's see what will happen to it by tire press. As you know the minimum force required to break a walnut in a nut cracker is 5.55 Newton. So the tire presses it easily. Onion. Next in our list is onion. Place the onion under the tire and start lowering down the jack. Tennis ball. Now take a tennis ball and see what tire press do with it. Tennis ball consists of a two-piece rubber shell that manufacturers mold together to form a hollow core, injected with a pressurized gas to give the ball its bounce, and wrapped with the synthetic felt that glues to the surface of the durability, so it compresses under the tire and doesn't get damaged. Most soft tennis balls will collapse at pressure above 25 psi. Almonds. Now next is almond. As the normal compression force that is required to crack one almond nut is measured to be 202.15 Newton. Coke can. Now place a can of coke under the tire to see what happens to it. Now lower down the jack by the lever slowly to see the compression force clearly. As you can see the can start compressing after some time and then leak from one side. We changed the direction of the can to see clear results. 45 to 90 newtons of force is necessary to crush an aluminium can. Nokia Mobile. The next thing on our list is the world's strongest company product, the Nokia Mobile. Let's see what happens. Put the mobile under the tire and lower down the jack. As you can see, tire weight only damages the cover of the mobile and the inner structure is not damaged it's clean. We again put it under the tire but the result was the same. It resisted a lot and was not damaged too much. We can say Nokia clearly passed the crush test. Balloon filled with water. Now we took a balloon and filled it with water. We place the water balloon under the tire and slowly lower down the car tire by jack. As the weight of the tire falls on the balloon, first it resists but at last it explodes and water comes out. If you have 1 cubic foot of balloon and double the pressure on it, it will be compressed to half cubic foot. 1.5 liters of coke bottle. 
Now we took 1.5 liters of Coke bottle and put it under car tire and lower down the jack in such a way that the bottle should not slip under the tire. Now we try to put more weight on it to check how much pressure the bottle can bear. Now Daniel stood on the car tire because the car weight is not enough for a bottle. Now we move the car backward and forward so that it may affect the bottle to blast. At last we decided to hit the bottle with a knife edge because the molecules in the bottle are tight in this condition. So a hit of a knife may cause a blast. Yes, it worked as Daniel hit the bottle. Toothpaste now we have toothpaste. Now we put it under the tire and slowly lower down the jack. As the tire touches the paste, it presses it. As a result, the toothpaste cap goes like fire and all the paste come out of the toothpaste. So for more interesting videos like this, please subscribe to our channel.